Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 1 to 10 for the Cisco CCNP exam. Let's begin. What is the difference between a RIB and a FIB? The correct answer is A. The RIB holds all learned routes from routing protocols, regardless of whether they are used for forwarding. The FIB is derived from the RIB and contains only the best routes used for actual packet forwarding. The FIB is optimized for fast lookup by the forwarding plane. Why the other options are incorrect? B. This is incorrect. It's the FIB that reflects a subset of the RIB, not the other way around. C. Routing decisions are typically based on the destination IP address, and source-based routing is a special case not handled by the standard RIB. D. The FIB stores only the best forwarding paths, not all routing information. The RIB stores the complete set of routes. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which QoS component alters a packet to change the way that traffic is treated in the network? The correct answer is C. Marking is the QoS component that modifies a packet to indicate how it should be treated as it traverses the network. This includes setting fields like DSCP or COS, which downstream devices use to prioritize or handle traffic accordingly. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Policing monitors traffic rates and can drop or remark packets that exceed configured limits, but it doesn't primarily exist to change how traffic is treated. Its main role is enforcement. B. Classification identifies and categorizes traffic, but does not modify the packet. D. Shaping delays packets to conform to a specific traffic profile, smoothing traffic bursts, but it doesn't modify the packet itself. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Which statement about Cisco Express forwarding is true? The correct answer is C. Cisco Express forwarding uses the FIB and the adjacency table in the data plane to make high-speed packet forwarding decisions without involving the CPU for each packet. This design enables faster and more efficient forwarding. Why the other options are incorrect? A. This describes process switching, not CEF. CEF is designed to avoid CPU involvement in per-packet forwarding. B. This describes fast switching, which uses a cache. CEF uses FIB and adjacency tables instead of a fast cache. D. CEF makes forwarding decisions in the hardware or data plane not through the iOS process scheduler in the control plane. Therefore, the correct answer is C. What is the benefit of deploying an on-premises infrastructure versus a cloud infrastructure deployment? The correct answer is D. On-premises infrastructure can offer lower latency because the systems are often located on the same local network or even in the same data center. This proximity reduces network delays compared to communicating over the internet with cloud-hosted systems. Why the other options are incorrect? A. This is a benefit of cloud infrastructure, not on-premises, where adding compute power typically requires buying and installing hardware. B. On-premises deployments typically require more power and cooling compared to offloading workloads to the cloud. C. This is a benefit of cloud infrastructure, where resources can be provisioned instantly without waiting for physical hardware. Therefore, the correct answer is D. How does QoS traffic shaping alleviate network congestion? The correct answer is B. Traffic shaping helps alleviate network congestion by controlling the traffic rate. When traffic exceeds the committed rate, it doesn't drop packets immediately. Instead, it buffers and queues them to send later smoothing out traffic bursts and preventing congestion. Why the other options are incorrect? A. This describes policing, not shaping. Policing enforces limits by dropping or remarking excess traffic. C. QoS shaping doesn't involve fragmenting packets. Fragmentation is typically handled at lower layers or by tunneling protocols. D. This refers to congestion avoidance mechanisms like random early detection, not traffic shaping. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which component handles the orchestration plane of the Cisco SD-WAN? The correct answer is C. vManage is the orchestration and management component of Cisco SD-WAN. It provides a centralized GUI and API interface to configure, monitor, and manage the SD-WAN environment, 
including pushing policies and software updates to devices. Why the other options are incorrect? A. VBON handles initial authentication and orchestrates control plane connections between SD-WAN components, but is not the central management or orchestration interface. B. VSmart is responsible for the control plane. It manages routing, policy distribution, and secure communications between devices, but not orchestration. D. WAN edge devices are the physical or virtual routers that form the data plane, forwarding traffic across the SD-WAN fabric. They are managed, not managers. Therefore, the correct answer is C. What is the role of the vSmart controller in a Cisco SD-WAN environment? The correct answer is B. In Cisco SD-WAN, the vSmart controller is responsible for managing the control plane. It distributes routing information, security policies, and data path policies to the WAN edge devices, enabling consistent and secure communication across the SD-WAN fabric. Why the other options are incorrect? A. That is primarily the role of VBON, which facilitates the initial authentication of WAN edge devices and orchestrates control connections. C. This is the role of vManage, which provides the GUI or API for configuring, monitoring, and managing the SD-WAN environment. D. The WAN edge devices handle the data plane, forwarding user traffic based on policies received from vSmart. Therefore, the correct answer is B. When a wired client connects to an edge switch in a Cisco SD access fabric, which component decides whether the client has access to the network? The correct answer is A. In Cisco SD access, the ISE is responsible for making authentication and authorization decisions when a client connects to the network. It verifies the client's identity and determines the level of access based on policies. Why the other options are incorrect? A. The edge node forwards the client's authentication request but does not make the access decision itself. C. While ISE often uses the RADIUS protocol, the server implementing the logic is ISE, not a generic RADIUS server. D. The control plane node handles mapping and routing information within the SD access fabric, not authentication decisions. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which benefit is offered by a cloud infrastructure deployment but is lacking in an on-premises deployment? The correct answer is D. Cloud infrastructure provides efficient scalability, allowing organizations to quickly scale resources up or down based on demand without needing to purchase or install physical hardware. This flexibility is a major advantage over on-premises infrastructure. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Virtualization is available in both cloud and on-premises environments. B. Both deployments support various systems depending on configuration and vendor support. C. While cloud can offer virtually unlimited storage, on-premises systems can also be expanded, though less flexibly. However, the key distinction is not just capacity, but scalability, which is more efficient in the cloud. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which action is the vSmart controller responsible for in a Cisco SD-WAN deployment? The correct answer is C. The vSmart controller in Cisco SD-WAN is responsible for managing the control plane by distributing routing and forwarding policies to WAN edge devices. These policies govern how data is forwarded across the SD-WAN fabric. Why the other options are incorrect? A. This is the role of VBON, which authenticates and orchestrates initial connections between devices. B. This task is performed by vManage, which collects telemetry and provides monitoring. D. Again, this is the role of vManage, the centralized management interface. Therefore, the correct answer is C. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.